Hi everyone, welcome to Science Tutorial for You. In this video, I'm going to explain natural selection. The theory of natural selection was proposed by Charles Darwin. And you'll be able to find Charles Darwin at the back of the 10 pound notes with the signature. Okay, so what is the theory of natural selection? Natural selection state that only the organism which are better adapted to the environment can survive and pass its gene to the next generation. So this is the theory of Charles Darwin. Now, better adapted to the environment. What is meant by better adapted? An organism which has a greater adaptation will be able to survive. For example, it will be able to run fast, it will be better camouflaged, so the species will be able to escape from the predators, and so they will be able to reproduce. If they reproduce, their genes will be passed on to the next generation. So such species will persist and will not be extinct. A different name for natural selection is survival of the fittest. The word fittest means better adapted. So only the organism which are better adapted will be able to survive. So natural selection is called survival of the fittest. I would like to also write that natural selection gives evidence for evolution. Evolution state that more complex organisms have evolved from one simple species and the reason why complex organisms were able to evolve is because of natural selection. Now natural selection happens due to two reasons. It needs two factors for it to happen. Is because of change in the environment. Number two is because of mutation. What is mutation? Mutation is change in DNA. If there's a change in DNA then there's new characteristics being formed. This new characteristics can be neutral, beneficial, or harmful. If it's neutral, then it's not helping with the survival. If it's beneficial, then it's helping with the survival. An example of such mutation would be a rabbit having a bigger ears, so it will be able to hear from long distance and escape from its predator. Some mutation can be harmful. Example could be a new color fur, which is not helping with the camouflage, and so these animals are easily spotted by the predators and will be eaten. So eventually such animals will become extinct. The process of mutation is not chosen by the animals. It happens naturally. And it's important to note that it's a random process. All right, now I'm gonna explain why Charles Darwin theory was rejected. It is accepted now, but long ago it was rejected. His theory was rejected due to three reasons. Number one, his theory was against religious belief. Number two, he could not explain the new characteristics. For example, a rabbit used to have small ears and suddenly the new babies will have bigger ears. The reason why new characteristics was formed is because of mutation. But back in the old days, genes and DNA were not discovered. So no one knew about mutation. And if a theory cannot be explained using scientific reason, such theory will be rejected. Number three, the third reason is because other scientists had different theories. And one of the scientists who was against Charles Darwin was Lamarck. Lamarck had a different ideas compared to natural selection. He stated that so he was saying only the characteristics which are highly used will be developed and will be passed on to the next generation. His theory was rejected and eventually Charles Darwin theory was accepted. Now Lamarck theory cannot happen and the reason is because 
a characteristic which was developed through environmental factors cannot be passed on to the next generation. So a boy who is training and developing his body with muscle, such muscle characteristics will not be passed to his child. And the reason is because he developed all these muscle characteristics by training, and which is environmental factors. And environmental factors will not be passed on to the next generation. So I hope you understand both theories, natural selection and Lamarck theory. I hope this was helpful. If you like it, please like, subscribe and comment. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.